Hello, welcome to Victory Victory Chat with Jackie McKeever. Your victory starts here. Hi, I am Jackie McKeever. I am the host of Victory Chat. And on Victory Chat, we talk about what? We talk about victories. Um, we talk a, a, for, about everything from self-development to business and a books because and like books because I am a book lover. Y'all. For season two, we're doing a series that's called Behind the Author's Pen. So today we have a guest. His name is James Michaels, and he is the author of Ice Rising. Hello, James. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I am doing well. So we're going to put him in a hot seat and ask him 10 questions and get all in, in his business and learn more about the book. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the first question is, why did you decide to write this book? Um, actually, it started off as a, a challenge to myself. Mm. Um, I believe, you know, if you want to keep improving in life, you got to keep challenging yourself. And uh, so, yeah, I just, I started, uh, I just started typing away and on the Word document. And as I got done with the first chapter, worked on the next one, I thought to myself, you know what, this, this actually could go somewhere, you know? So I just ran with it. And, uh, you know, before I knew it, I had a whole book done. Cool. And then when I uh, when I was able to get it published, I said, "Wow! Like this actually happened. I took something that came from, you know, inside my head, put it on paper, and now I have, you know, physical copy." That's awesome. So, how long did it take you to write it? Um, it actually took about a year. Um, you know, balancing uh, my writing life with my work life. You know, I. I I also have a full-time job and I have a, a wife and three kids to, to, you know, balance all the time with. So I wear a lot of hats and uh, yeah. And plus I, um, you know, I, I freestyled my writing. I didn't have a whole idea of where my book was going to go when I was writing it. It just kind of went a step-by-step -step process till I got to the end. And I said, Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the story is over so far that's good that's good you just pour let it let it all out i love that i love that so were there any delays in producing or writing your book um writer's block things like that or um engagements and uh uh additions to the family when i started writing um you know i just had uh my son and then my um, my first daughter was born while I was writing the book. So, you know, of course, you know, family stuff happens, life happens, uh, things like that. But, you know, you just, it never goes away, you know, it stays in your head. So, you know, you just keep the thought process going. And then sometimes, you know, in order to beat the writer's block, I just said, you know what, let's just write it out, see what happens. And all of a sudden, like opening the floodgates again. That's good. So who is this book written for? Um, this book is definitely crime fiction. Um, you know, this is definitely for people who, uh, who like reading about, you know, um, like illegal enterprises, um, the, the, the lives of, of, of criminals and whatnot. Um, I think it's something that, I think it has different messages that people can grab. So I think it's got, uh, a, a, I think the group of people that would be interested in this uh, probably come from all walks of life. That's good. So um, have you ever written a book before this one? Was this your first book? Um, there were a couple, uh, I think there were a couple of attempts I made earlier in life to start writing and I just, um, I didn't follow through. This was the first one where I said, you know what, you know, I said to myself, I would do this and, um, you know, you, you, 
when you tell yourself that you're going to do something or when you tell other people you're going to do something, then you become one of two people. Either you're going to follow through or you're, you're just, you know, blowing smoke. And I said to myself, I'm going to do this, so I'm going to do it <laughs> pretty much. That's good. Are there any other books? Um, will you write any other books in this genre or will we hear about any other books in the future from you? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of uh, true crime and crime fiction. So crime fiction is where I want to um, stay at. I actually have another book that the, um, it's finished. The Rough Draft is finished. It's in editing right now. And um, I'm actually working on the direct sequel to wow. Ice Rising. That's good. Um, what do you want readers to get from your book? Um, the, the story itself is, um, it's a story of potential and how it can be misused, Mm. you know, for the wrong, for the wrong reasons. Um, you know, where I work, you know, I, I work in the, in the, uh, correctional facility Mm -hmm. and I've, I've met a few people in there that they're, they're, they're smart. They have, they have a talent, a gift, but they used it, they may have used it for the wrong reasons. And so I guess the story is to, is for, um, especially like late teens, early twenties, mm-hmm. um, kids who they know, they know they've got a gift and they know they can use it. It's just a question of how they're going to use it. So the whole series itself you know, I hope it's a lesson to them of um, staying in the right direction with that, because you can go a lot further using your potential for um, the right reasons, going down the, the, the right roads. You know, you can sleep better at night and, you know, feel better about yourself in the, uh, That's in the end. That's right. That's right. You don't have to look behind your back and have to worry about it, how you look in orange. Right. Anyway, um, what what other authors inspire you? Um, quite a bit. Uh, definitely, um, a lot of authors in fiction and the nonfiction worlds. Um, and for different reasons. Um, like uh, James Patterson. I like James Patterson in the fictional world. I like James Patterson. Um. You know Stephen King. Uh, I like a lot of the urban fiction writers like uh, Quan, Ashley Jaquavis, Carl Weber, um, Donald Goins. I like. Um, I also like a lot of nonfiction authors, especially guys who have, who they did use their potential for the wrong reasons. They start mm-hmm. off on the wrong road, went to jail, got out, and they, you know, changed their thinking. So. Um, you know, like guys like Michael Francis, Larry Lawton, uh, Shaka Senghor, um, Matt Cox, you know, I, I have, I, I have a huge respect for people that are, um, you know, they, they, they started off bad, but they managed to really change the way of thinking. And now they're out and they're doing a lot of good for the world and they're living great lives and stuff. So you know, a lot of respect for them. So it's a mixture. It's definitely a mixture. That's good. What advice would you give uh, authors just writing their book? Um, that's a good question. I would say read. Definitely read. Um, you know, try, try to be well-rounded as a reader. Um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, because, uh, you know, fiction for creativity, nonfiction for inspiration. That's what I use it for. So definitely keep reading. Um, connecting, you know, talking to other authors that are, you know, just starting off or, um, or a couple steps ahead of you or a lot of steps ahead of you and kind of learning from them as well. And that's one of the things I love about the writing community is that it's definitely a help build each other community. Um, You know, if you want to build yourself, help build somebody else. 
That's right. You know, I love that's it. That's a great phrase. That's something I try to live by. So yeah, definitely um, reading and networking. Okay, so we're at our final question. Can you give our listeners a quick blurb or something that's inside your book and let them know where they can find it? Yeah, um, Ice Rising itself is a story of um, Alexander Lincoln, who lives in uh, El Paraiso in Northern California. It's a, it's a fictional city. Uh, he grows up in, a, in the rougher area of the city um, during the 1980s, and he's raised on two principles, stay off the street and protect those you love, um, which he's able to toe that line until, uh, 19, until around 1984 when there's a drive-by that mm. ends up uh, taking the life of one of his friends and wounding his little brother, Daniel. So he blames, he takes the blame for he takes that situation and blames himself that there wasn't anything he could do during a situation to help protect his brother and his friend. So he ends up um, going into the streets and pursuing a life of crime, albeit reluctantly at first, until he realizes that, you know, it's something he enjoys. He takes a pride in himself about what he's doing. Now, his talent is that he's a great businessman. He has a great mm great mind for business and opportunities and whatnot so he uses that to further his criminal exploits um on a, on an ironic side note his little brother danny who also has the same talent but he uses it for legitimate purposes mm -hmm. so as you read the book you kind of see how similar they are but how different they are at this you know at the same time it's kind of you know as he uh, progresses through the story, you get glimpses of Danny's life and where Alex could have been. So anyway, Alex goes into the street and he adapts, he adopts the persona of ice, which was a nickname given to him uh, related to the drive by incident. So, you know, he goes into the street and uh, you know, he, he has to learn life. He has to adapt to his surroundings. And as he ascends to power, he descends into corruption. Mm. And this book here is the first one. It's the first of a series. So this one tells of his, his beginnings, you know, his slow rise to power. And then I, if I, if, I, if I were to tell you this, the, the title of the next book, it'd probably give away um, a good part of Leave uh, them in suspense. The Leave them in suspense. They need to go ahead and purchase this book. <laughs> Can't give them everything. <laughs> Leave them in suspense. <laughs> Leave them in suspense. So where can they find your book? Um, Amazon. You can look up uh, Ice Rising by James Michaels. It's M-I-C-H-E-L-S. And uh, if you get a physical copy, it'll look something like this. It's, I know it's, uh, the, the, the printing is huge. I didn't know that was going to happen, but I like how it looks. But it'll stand I out. I like how it looks, too. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's available on Amazon. Um, $9.99 for paperback, uh, $4.99 for Kindle. Okay. That's, so that's definitely get your copy today. Yes, purchase your copy. All right. Thank you so much, James, for coming on our show. And thank you for letting us go behind the scenes of your author's pen. Y'all, this was an amazing interview. Make sure that y'all uh, purchase his book. Make sure you stay connected with him for the sequel, y'all. Come on now. Anyway, this is Victory Chat with Jackie McKeever. Remember, your victory starts here. Thank you, James. Thank you. It was a pleasure.